Diane Carroll was born Carol Diane Johnson in the Bronx, New York City on July 17, 1935. Her parents were John and Mabel Johnson. Due to financial hardship, they sent her to live with her maternal aunt. She later reunited with them and they moved to Harlem. She attended the Manhattan's Fane High School of Music and Art and was a classmate of Billy D. Williams. With her parents' support, she entered talent contest and billed herself as Diane Carroll. She later attended NYU to study psychology but dropped out to become a model. In 1953, she appeared on an ABC talent show called Chance of a Lifetime. After being spotted singing on TV, she was given a one-week booking by Lou Walters, the father of Barbara Walters, in the Latin Quarter nightclub. From there, her career was launched. Her film debut was a supporting role in Carmen Jones, she also starred in leading roles in the musical No Strings, in which she won a Tony Award for Best Actress, as well as Porgy and Bess and Paris Blues. She made history as the first African-American woman to star in her own television series in the groundbreaking role of Julia, in which she played a young middle-class Vietnam War widow and mother who worked as a nurse. The show was sponsored by Mattel, Inc., and there were several lunchboxes, coloring books, dolls issued that were worth a fortune today. Other shows and movies she's known for are Claudine, in which she was nominated for an Oscar, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, The Diane Carroll Show, Sister Sister, Dynasty, A Different World, and Grey's Anatomy, to name a few. Diane Carroll was married four times. Her first husband was Monte Kay, of whom she had a daughter, Suzanne. Her second husband was Freddie Glussman, a Las Vegas boutique owner. Robert DeLeon, director of Jet Magazine, was her third, and famed crooner Vic Dimone was her fourth. In addition to her marriages, she had a nine-year on-again, off-again relationship with Sidney Poitier. She chronicles these events in her memoir, The Legs Are the Last to Go. She will always be remembered for being one of the great beauties of our time. Here are some of her classic looks. In the early 90s, Carol was diagnosed with breast cancer. She underwent several weeks of radiation therapy and had been cleared. She raised awareness by speaking on the need for early detection and prevention of the disease. In conclusion, shockingly, it was revealed she was battling cancer for a second time, a battle she lost on October 4, 2019.